join me on Instagram. Beautiful pictures for you guys and give you lots of good information so that you can prepare yourself well for PA school. What's up you guys, it's Adana. I am back with another video for you guys. I am doing one of your requests. You asked for what books I use in PA school um, to study, and so I am doing it for you guys. So I am definitely going to leave a link with the Google Drive um, document of all of the books that I need for my didactic year, so you guys can take a look at that. There is one book on there, <laughs> just, bypass this book okay it's called uh being mortal medicine and what matters in the end i have never opened this book a day in my life um it is a book about medicine it's one of the new new york times bestseller but you can read it if you just want some light reading but me i don't have time for light reading okay i have to study for pa school i don't know why this was on my list but it was um maybe i'll use it in the future i don't know but i have not used it to study for anything in pa school yet so you can just bypass that on my list okay all right so let's get into it so i have this class for pa school called physical diagnosis if you saw me on my instagram um, my husband did a video of me trying to study my check sheet it was my h-e-n-t check sheet sheet because we'd already done the I so it was just one E um, and I was talking about the thyroid at that moment I believe but if you haven't done so go ahead and follow me on Instagram and you can go ahead and see that video but these are the books that I use for that class so I have one book that is on my Kindle. It is the practical radiology because in that class we look at all of the different radiology film. So x-rays, MRI, CTs because we use them to look at different aspects of the body in practice and we also use them in my simulation class and in this class so this is one of my books um, I like it it explains a lot I have the electronic version because I was a little cheap and also I just wanted to get the information and I didn't mind having an electronic book but I will definitely invest in the paperback because I like highlighting that's just me personally but if you are fine with electronic books go ahead and do that it's a really good buy i also use clinical documentation because we do sim um some soap notes so this is my clinical documentation guide to clinical documentation the second edition i use that in my physical diagnosis class as well because we have to diagnose and document so this breaks it down for you it really talks about soap notes and all like all of these different things i don't know if you can see that, but I'm trying, you guys. I'm trying for you. My two main books, these are like the big daddy books of that class. So this is Bates. That's got the guide to the physical examination. So we have the documentation aspect of it, and then we have the actual examination. In this book, I really like it because it has a lot of tables in the back just about the different parts of the body and what they would physically look like uh, this is the air and abnormalities like skin growths we have the eye so it's essential for you to know what these different things look like normally and then when you're doing the examination what you're looking for what a non-normal eye or ear looks like because then you'll be able to narrow down your different diseases and this book very 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 much so has helped me through lots of my tests and just understanding the beauty of the skin and how it tells you that hey something may be wrong or this person actually is pretty healthy this book is skin disease this is what i used a lot when i was in my durham module it helped me understand what the skin should normally look like and what it looks like abnormally so these are just like a few pictures it has a lot of pictures it tells you how to treat the different diseases and what they are guys i'm trying i'm trying really hard I'm trying really hard to find something that is not someone's like genitals or like breast. I'm tr I'm trying hard, but um uh, no, that one has some butt in it. Okay. All right. No. Nope, no. Nope. Okay. Oh, here. Here's some toes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we have some toes, you guys. Looking at this and seeing the different types of funguses that may grow on the toe. Uh, 
how to treat them as well. So this is actually a really good book, especially if you want to get into derm. This is very good. You'll understand like all of the different diseases that can happen in the skin, what they look like. Um, so go ahead and cop this if you haven't already done so and you are interested in being a derm PA. So for anatomy, um, the majority of my time was spent looking at the PowerPoints and then looking at my anatomy like my gross anatomy book the atlas uh we were asked to get this book this is more as clinical oriented anatomy i did not crack this book open a lot i really only did it for the eye and knowing you know the eye the extra ocular movements of the eye and what muscles do that and you know, if there was a lesion to one of those muscles, what would happen? So that's what I use this book for. Um, pretty much didn't use it for anything else. These were my books. I have a Netter Anatomy book and also flashcards. And then our school uses theme as well. And so I like the way that um, themes Atlas of Anatomy book looked. So I decided to get that book because it's beneficial. So just like any other atlas for the most part, but it also has information on different injuries. So if you hit the terion and the middle meningeal artery was damaged, what kind of hematoma or injury would you have? And that's an epidural hematoma. So that was in there. So knowing those bridging veins, cerebral arteries, what those different things, if they're affected or clogged, what would happen so really like that book um if you're looking for a good anatomy book i would suggest either this one or netter's gross anatomy they're really 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 amazing and these were my best friends you guys <laughs> these were my best friends this semester so and they're probably gonna be like my friends forever my best friends forever these are my bffs pants prep pearls and certification and recertification so i have already told you guys about these two books i love them i absolutely love these books you guys specifically pants i really i'm so glad that i invested in this book it just breaks it down i told you guys about it already it makes it so simple if you're a person that you're just trying to get the pearls of something so that you can see these buzzwords because a lot of the times that's what they use the buzzwords definitely definitely invest in this okay you're gonna it's only gonna be a benefit so pants thank you pants <laughs> thank you for this book it's been a, a blessing in my life and then the certification and recertification i use this just to reinforce reinforce what I've learned um, on the PowerPoint presentations. It allows me to kind of do a pretest that has tests in the back. So I can do a little pretest of things. I don't know if you can see that, it's pretty bright. But see, test my knowledge, see what I need to work on, what I don't need to work on. But those are my books, you guys. Um, I do have a pharmacology book that I left at school, but um, you'll be able to see what book that is uh, in the description box below at, on the Google Drive, and I'll leave that for you. But in your light reading, <laughs> go ahead and take a look at some of those books. Definitely, if you want to check out um, some books like prior to getting into PA school, I definitely suggest Pants. Um, and the Atlas, the theme Atlas, those books are great. Um, you can never go wrong. They're only going to be a benefit. And I feel like PA schools across the nation, like you're not going to be wrong in getting those two books. And then the skin disease book. That will definitely help you because the skin is the skin. So the diseases and treatments are going to be the same. All right. So thank you so much for requesting this. I really appreciate you guys just engaging with me and joining with me on this journey i do suggest that you guys stay tuned because i am getting white coated <laughs> i am getting my white coat you guys at the end of this week so stay tuned for that i will be sure to put a video out about that i'm really excited about it so can't wait to share it with you guys love you guys so much thank you guys so much for joining me on this journey i will talk to you guys and see you Later!